Mass chanting for Egypt's military marshals to go echoes over Tahrir Square, where thousands have gathered and are determined to stay. The army says a presidential election will be held by next summer, but the people want them now. Paul Asleer is live in Cairo. Well, we can hear shouts and sirens behind you, Paul, the dramatic scenes there. What is it like to be there on uh, Tahrir Square at the moment? Well, when you're here, you keep wondering how it can get much worse. But I can tell you, Bill, it is getting worse. The situation is intensifying by the minute. The standoff between protesters on the one side and the army and security personnel on the other just shows no sign of letting up. It's still concentrated mostly in Mohammed Mahmoud Street, a short distance behind me. There, the protesters are literally picking up anything they can. They're breaking off pieces of pavement to hurl at the army and the police, and they're responding in turn with tear gas, with rubber bullets, and with live ammunition. Tonight is much the same as what we've, what we've been witnessing since Saturday, in the sense that whenever it's nightfall, the numbers here swell. People come from school, people come from work to lend their support to this growing movement of discontent against the military. Now, human rights groups estimate that at least 38 people have been killed in the past few days. They say that as many as 2,000 people have been injured. The head of the United Nations Human Rights Watch has criticized the so-called excessive use, and that's a quote, of force by the army. The city center of Cairo has grinded to a halt, but I think it's worth mentioning that outside this area, life is pretty much the same as usual. This is not to say that Egyptians don't support what's going on here. The majority, in fact, do, but they are skeptical as to whether or not the protesters will be able to achieve their goals. Many Egyptians are very aware of the fact that since the February revolution, the economy here has plummeted and plummeted dramatically. There is little tourism, there is little investment. But on the same side, there is a lot of hope and a lot of optimism that the revolution this time round will achieve its aims. Paula, why aren't, though, the protesters accepting those recent concessions made by the military rulers? Well, the simple answer is that they don't believe the military is serious about handing over the reins of power. The Muslim Brotherhood, which is expected to get the majority of support come next week, Monday's parliamentary elections, has issued a statement in response to the speech delivered by the head of the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, Mohammed Kantari. The Muslim Brotherhood says it's encouraged by some of the, the, the reforms that the army is promising to make, reforms such as committing itself to these parliamentary elections, naming a date for presidential elections to be held by June next year. But at the same time, the Brotherhood is calling for the immediate sacking of the information and interior ministers. And this is because the government, this interim government that's been in place and selected and appointed by the army, is going to remain in place until a new government is able to be formed. So people here really reluctant and slow to believe that the military is serious about making any kind of real changes. Here they refer to the fact that the government, as I mentioned, is going to remain in power despite the fact that the army has said that it will recognize the resignation of, the, of this government. But here in Tahrir Square, if you can hear behind me, the ambulances screeching from one side of the square to another. We know that in the last few hours, dozens, if not hundreds of people have been injured. And we continue to hear reports from doctors and medics that they simply cannot, can't, can, cannot cope with the number of injured people. Paula, thank you very much indeed. Dramatic developments, fast-moving developments there in Cairo. Thanks for that update live there in Tahrir Square.